let's go on a beer tour of St. Louis, Missouri. Stick with me, we'll start off by the airport at Ferguson Brewing Company. Next, we'll move downtown close to the Arch. We'll check out Four Hands Brewing Company. We'll wrap up our tour in the Trendy Grove District with Rockwell Beer Company and Urban Chestnut Brewing Company. Starting off close to the airport, because that's where most visitors arrive, let's drive about five minutes over the town of Ferguson, Missouri. While Ferguson, Missouri is more known for its recent riots, it's come up, there's a vibrant business district downtown now with trendy shops and good food to include the food that you'll find at Ferguson Brewing Company. Ferguson Brewing Company's flagship ale is the Pecan Brown Ale. This is their flagship beer and I really like it. It's an American brown ale that's not quite as heavy as some of the brown ales you may be used to, but it does have a full rich flavor that really satisfies. Couple this with some of the good food that Ferguson Brewing Company provides and you're set for a delicious dinner and beer when you land from the airport. For most of the airport hotels, it's about a five minute drive or Uber uh, to Ferguson Brewing Company and then back to your airport district hotel. St. Louis, who isn't going to visit the Arch? When you visit the Arch, you're a short scooter ride away from Four Hands Brewing Company. I highly suggest that you download the Bird app as they're the most plentiful scooters you're going to find in downtown St. Louis. Once you get to Four Hands Brewing Company, the Dekine is a beer that I definitely recommend. Dekine's a tropical IPA, not too hoppy at 30 IBUs, but does have a nice pineapple and mandarin flavor that really sweetens it up. So just a slightly sloppy slightly <laughs> sloppy just a slightly hoppy ipa that's gonna have some citric feel to it with uh, that mandarin and uh, pineapple plant definitely check out the kind a brewery trip out of your trip to St. Louis, these next two breweries are the ones you definitely want to pay attention to. Both of these are located in the Trendy Grove District, very close to Forest Park. So think like just west of downtown, south of Forest Park, that's where we're located now. The first one we're going to visit is Rockwell Beer Company. Rockwell Beer Company is most noted for its Connex boxes that are out front uh, signaling like as you're driving down the street and getting close, you'll see those Connex boxes out front as well as the outdoor seating on rustic picnic tables in the outside area of Rockwell Beer Brewing Company. My favorite beer that I had while I was there was the Social Companion. Now the Social Companion is a Dartmunder beer. If you're not familiar with Dartmunders, that's okay because neither was I. When you're thinking of a Dartmunder, think of kind of a cross, I think personally between a Saison and a German Pilsner. So you still have the sweetness of a Saison, but you've got kind of the uh, light bodiedness of a German Pilsner. With the Social Companion specifically, you're gonna get a light and refresh refreshing flavor that's got kind of a like crisp sweetness to it. So definitely a good beer to drink in the hot, like the hot, humid St. Louis summers uh, when you're when you're sitting outside on the patio social companion is definitely the one I'd go to also when we're talking about Rockwell Brewing Company this is probably the best food that I had at any of the the breweries that we're talking to talking about so if you're talking about getting a burger this is definitely the place to get it if you want to start out with some appetizers the next place that we'll talk about is Urban Chestnut Brewing Company. Urban Chestnut Brewing Company is located just a short walk away from Rockwell uh, Beer Company. So if you're going to make a brewery trip out of it, you can see why these two are kind of the go-to place. You can start at one and end up at the other. While I started up at Rockwell Beer Company, I'd suggest starting out at Urban Chestnut because these were some pretty rocking appetizers, specifically the deviled eggs at uh, Urban Chestnut. Also, Urban Chestnut has a pretty extensive tap, so if you want to go ahead and pick through some of the other appetizers while you're there, definitely a great place to start out your uh, beer tour. My favorite.
beer while I was at the uh, Urban Chestnut Brewing Company was the Solaris. So the Solaris is a uh, light IPA, only 30 IBUs, but it has some orange overtones that uh, bring out, help bring out the sweetness while minimizing the hoppiness. So with the Solaris, the sweetness is gonna be drawn out by not just your typical pineapple, but also some, pine, some passion fruit and white wine grapes. So it really adds a uniqueness to the sweetness of the Solaris. Just like I said, make sure you eat those deviled eggs. Definitely gotta do that when you're at Urban Chestnut.